Hi, welcome to a video tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this VL53L0X uh, six pin laser meter with this TM1637 seven segment display. As you can see here, now I have the distance about eight centimeter or 80 millimeter. You can get the code for this project by clicking on the link at the description below, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. So let's get started with this. Because this uh, project involves with two items here, the, the display and the laser module, uh, I have separate video for this module. Make sure that you uh, test it without any other code, just this module and see it that video because I'm not going to explain everything about this and also I have separate video explaining this module I will not explain it fully here so make sure that you can run this code separately and make sure it works after that run this separately in another sketch and it, it will work and then come back to this video which I'm combining both together here to make it work for this module uh, we have these four pens. So ground is connected to the ground of this Arduino in here, and VCC is connected to the volts. Then we have the uh, digital in out and digital the clock, as it has been explained in the uh, sketch. So the clock, the brown, is connected to the pin 2 here and to the pin 2 and also this data the red one is connected to pin 3 for this laser module here we have VCC connected to 5 volts for the laser module VCC is connected with the, this green and blue so green is VCC blue is the ground so this is connected to 5 volts and to the ground respectively on the Arduino and then we have a clock CL and then SDA this my uh, device has SDA and SCL so for if your Arduino doesn't have this SDA and SCL S so SDA is connected to A4 and SCL is connected to A5 taking the original Adafruit code from GitHub and also just make some changes here and the video for the laser is here you can watch it and the pin configuration that I've just explained are also here but the wire is for ITC I square C or ITC communication this is for the laser the library the link will be provided this will create an uh, object for the uh, laser sensor and from here to here uh, th these are all for the display and then we need to con con connect this and also the TM167 display which I have provided a separate link and the pin of the library uh, this is connected to pin 2 the clock and IO is connected to 3 for this module and this is the time that it just delays between reading and then we create a display object using these two value and then this 000 is to clear the, sc the screen so we have this value which will be used later inside the setup here we are just setting pin 12 as a pull up and also this is setting it at high this is beginning the wire I2C communication and this here we are initializing the sensor setting the timeout for 500 millisecond and then starting continuous this is also for the laser and these are the text as I said, these have been explained. So the important portion that I've combined these two together is in this uh, section, and that is uh, from here to here, we have the set, uh, we, are, we are measuring the distance, this is reading the distance in millimeter and stores it in the distance variable here. After that, we are clearing the seven segment display clear LED this is the value that I just mentioned here this 00 clear LED 
So we are every time the loop goes, we are clearing the LED with a set seg uh, set segment to this value. So it's clearing it, and after that we put the distance here, and then we set three and one. So this will display it on the screen, on the on this display. These values from here to here, these are for are for the uh, serial monitor, and if there is timeout occurred that timeout that we set then it will just print timeout and the loop continues every hundred millisecond it's just reading it and now here is and now here is a demonstration of this one as you can see we are reading the value here and also it's displayed here now it's fluctuating because the object is not stable and here with those va variations still it's very stable uh, and as I mentioned in my other video, if you want to make it a very, very more stable, there are two ways. One would be, so one way to make it very stable is to get uh, 10 or 20 or 50 values and add them together, divided by 50. Let's say if you collect 50, so this way you can get average of 50 and it will be very stable. And then it will not change quickly, so it will be very stable. This is between 54 and 55. 57 because this is millimeter the value fluctuates so this is how much the precision of this one is this can measure up to two meters if you want to display uh, if you want to display the zeros in front of this make this true so when you set this true all the digits will be displayed so this four means how many digits we expect so four digits because the maximum of this one is four digits. If you get it to the ceiling, you see that's that's the value from the wall. One thousand nine hundred one. Well, that's hundred and twenty centimeter, one hundred ninety centimeter. That this measures, and then this zero means which way should start. The least significant digit should be here or here. So if you put the least significant digit here, the rest will be be out. So for that reason, we put it here. But if you want to make it false, the zero will disappear. This was an introduction on how to use this uh, laser sensor module with a six pin and a seven segment display. Thanks for watching.